Hi there, Alex, and all the rest of you good people out there. I hope that you're all safe and sound and that health is with you. Regarding your follow-up question on the uh, center curve, the 2D center curve originally, which now have developed to a uh, center curve, or in this case, a datum axis in the um, 3D model. I am really eager to understand uh, the real-life a scenario that is uh, uh, the reason for this. Uh, I see that we have two cylinders here that are mirrored through a center line, kind of, and um, I have a hard time understanding uh, the real application here, the real life scenario. Um, but um, maybe that is not possible to to reveal. Um, although I would really like to understand the, uh, the use case here. Now, with that said, and since you have gone down the route of defining the center curve in your model, which is, well, according to me, uh, a good place uh, to actually do it, I would do it rather differently. But as you are asking for how to turn that datum axis arrowhead off in your view. Uh, that is not possible since this is a datum axis. That arrowhead will be there. What you can do is you can create a line there instead uh, representing that center curve. There are obviously several ways of doing that, but if you would like to do it directly in your model, this is um, what I would do. So obviously you got uh, three datum planes and a datum axis. I would replace all those with a simple line. So let's see if we can go to the modeling application and assess what we can do here. Uh, so you have that uh, datum axis there. You have uh, two cylinders. I'm not quite sure. Actually, you have three cylinders. You got one body there. I'm not quite sure why, but uh, I would assume that you would have two cylinders with a hole in there. Otherwise, they're not really symmetrical. Um, so let's bring that back and let's see here now. Uh, let's hide the first one. Now they are symmetric, so I think this is the situation that you're after. Otherwise, they're not symmetric. Now, uh, with that said, uh, there are different ways of going about this. Uh, you have obviously created a, a, a scenarios of datum planes and based a line upon. I say uh, I would not use those. I would simply use a line. And I would use the midpoint between these two cylinders. So uh, we say that use the midpoint between uh, that and that, uh, and let's see here now, that should be the center point there, and that's fine. Let's tie that to the y direction. Let's give you the length, let's say, uh, I don't remember, let's say that's 30, and let's make it negative uh, 30 the other way. Now, there you have your line, it's associative. If you move those apart, that will follow. Uh, what you need to do is you need to change the font. I think you have 35 and you have a center line. And uh, there you have your center line ready to use in your drawing. Now, this would actually be kind of doing things backwards. Um, so if I would do this, I would actually do what I've done in my other solution here. I uh, have created, I've uh, redone what you have done, kind of. So the first, uh, the first view here is actually not a real view. It's actually the sketch that I'm using to create the geometry. These two are the views uh, that you have produced. And what I would do, as you can see, I've, I've eliminated a bunch of features. I've created everything within a sketch, and I've done, done one revolt. Now, let's go back to the uh, modeling environment to see what I've done. 
just to study that sketch. So we got the revolver. Let's play back to the sketch. And we can see that I have created a sketch. Let's activate that to see what it is. I have created a sketch, uh, the base geometry down here for the cylinder. And I have created the symmetry line uh, where I mirror the uh, geometry around. And we can see that I got, got the mirror there. Now this is the way that I would produce uh, this geometry. This means that you have the center line in the original definition and you're only reusing that when creating a drawing. Um, and as you can see, if we roll it forward, you in the 3D environment have the center line there as well. And if we play back to uh, the drawing, we can see that the center line is here as well. And, uh, well, this is the way I would go about it. Uh, I would create it in the uh, 3D environment. Let's update uh, that as well. If I use the right button on my mouse, we can see that everything is up to date as well. Um, and this is the way I would go about this. Um, so if you would like to, uh, in your original part, uh, create a, a center line. Don't use the data maxis. It will produce an arrow. You can't get rid of it. That's the fundamentals of a data maxis. Uh, use a line instead and uh, use the center point and you will only need one line to create that. And uh, well, yeah, that's all I had for now. So with that, I hope it... Uh, shed some lights on things for you and helps in your future endeavors. And with that, I am going to leave you for today. So take care out there, all you good people. Stay safe, stay sound, and above all, stay healthy. Uh, over and out from Fred.